as a teacher, I just never felt really fulfilled. I never felt complete. There was always something missing. And now that I'm doing this, it's just like, this is what's meant to be. I feel it. I feel the connection. This is how I get to integrate all of my skill sets and everything that I have to offer and just effect a change that nobody else is able to do. CogMed offers the working memory piece that it's actually the kingpin of the executive functions, which is your ability to move forward. That's um, goal completion, it's movement toward goals, task completion, sticking with a task, and all that, it's all connected. The fundamental hypothesis of CogMed made sense. It was, you know, the brain has the ability to learn new skills. It is neuroplastic. It is not a set and concrete organ. It had been assumed that working memory couldn't be changed. If everything else can be trained, why can't we train working memory? I understand that internal design of CogMed and why it works. You have to be able to push the brain harder than it would normally be pushed. And that internal algorithm in CogMed that adjusts the level of difficulty based on each answer is what keeps people working at their edge. So I knew even before we started that that was central to why it had the potential to really work. Self-awareness is a critical missing piece in many people with executive functioning disorders. Cognet has the ability to increase one's ability to become more aware of how one operates. If a student is in class and they recognize that they're starting to fade out, they can take a quick breath and bring it right back. That's what they're learning how to do. So how it actually works as far as memory, by raising self-awareness, you're getting more attentional focus. With additional attentional focus, you are becoming less distracted by things around you. What most of my clients find is that they can start to relax and with the adage of slow down to go faster, by just relaxing, being present in the moment, you're going to increase attention because you don't have to worry about repeating information to hold it longer in, in your head. We also know from research that going through the training can raise dopamine levels in the brain, which is associated with many antidepressants and of course the stimulant medication for ADHD. Doing CogMed and feeling like I was on top of things, I found that the questions became easier and my memorization skills went like way up. So, I mean, CogMed like really, really helped me in that area because I wasn't feeling hopeless. I was feeling like I was in charge of everything and I could understand what was happening. It was like this big breakthrough that kind of happened. It takes a while, but once you see the signs, they're absolutely amazing how CogMed can really help you with everything, with academics, with social life, with regular life in general. Just back, at home, just back at home, having trouble with chores, your family, everything really, I really can. I know this sounds really weird for someone who's bright and has two degrees and has a successful business, but I could not focus long enough to know all the steps, just the steps to clean the bathroom he put on cards for me. I think Cognit has definitely shifted my brain. And it's not just because I can look at the, the graph on the website and show that I went from 100 to 150. I always said, how do my friends have more than one purse? I can't have more than one purse. One purse. How do they get the stuff from one purse to the other? I never could do it. Finally, this summer, I now have three purses that match different things. I can't believe I do that. It's like, it's like huge. I could never have done that before Cognit.